keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Um, so anyway, the, it's just this woman um, who claims to be God's gift to uh, humanity when it comes to her, you know, wizardry. Oh, I know so much, and I've got so many degrees. Look at that, isn't that pretty? This whole game is just insane. I mean, story, or whatever it is. Just, uh, they really put a lot into it. I quote directly, a motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Well, it's because God visited the island once and he was like, Nah. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Don't, uh, don't really care for it. That's not true. This is an amazing island, although it doesn't really exist, but it's an amazing island. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. There's that, uh, you can just barely see it. A little dark spot up there. It's that little cave we wandered into and we looked out and saw this other big cave. Just thought I'd like, thought I'd show you, maybe you'd like to know. I, I find know. myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. We are woven into a sodden blanket, stuffed into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean. My neck aches from staring up at the aerial, it mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. Yeah, um, anyway, that looks like a uh, neuron to me, doesn't it? Look like a neuron? idea what that is. But uh, anyway, we sit through these, uh, see? It looks, it's a neuron, I'm telling you. Dendrites, all that, I think. Mmm. Tasty. Mm. Bones. Um... But we have to sit through this class. It's ongoing. It's for the next six weeks. It's every Tuesday for me. And we sit in this group and we listen to her go on and on about how robots can be sentient and or conscious and Buddhas, you know, really great. Anyway, it's just all nonsense. 
I dislike her greatly. She's a big windbag. Tell you the truth, I almost wonder whether or not it's, you know, some tax evasion scheme. Let's walk in the creek here. Because we can. Yeah, it just gets me really... The vegetation oh. here has fossilized from the roots up. Ah. To think they once grazed animals here, the remnants of occupation being evidence to that. It is all sick to death. The water is too polluted for the fish, the sky is too thin for the birds, and the soil is cut with the bones of hermits and shepherds. I've heard it said that human ashes make great fertilizer, that we could sow a forest from all that is left of your hips and ribcage with enough left over to thicken the air and repopulate the bay. saying, yeah, it's just really, uh, I, I just get angered down to my core every time we get into that class. She's so full of crap. She has no idea what she's talking about. The thing that really makes me angry, I think, is the fact that she's getting paid like a hundred grand to do it. A hundred grand! For a hundred thousand dollars, I could do everything she's doing and stand on my head. At the same time, in my underwear, which would be awful, but I would do it. I, I don't think anybody would want me to, but I would do it. Let's go and look at that creek, it's really nice. Isn't that nice? It's gorgeous, okay. So, uh, anyway, but like I said, it's Friday. I'm very happy about that. Now it's time for, uh, time for everything to go into warp speed. Weekends only last like 10 minutes. Why is that? I know why it is. It's a rhetorical question. screen. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Just look at how amazingly beautiful this uh, thing is. This story, is. I mean, the, you know, the looks, it's just, wow. Look down there. That's great, okay.
That's the Hesperus. Well, probably not. I was just thinking, you know, it's a wreck and whatever. Three people got that. Thank you.